All right, guys, they have a car into a palm tree here on Cajon and University. I didn't want to go down that side because you can see the power line is busted. Um, and all it takes is these wires here to fall and, and I'm standing right there. So I came across the street. The CHP are here. They've blocked off the road to all vehicular traffic. Um, the AMR, it looks like, has the person in the car and uh but uh, yeah we don't want to get too close to that wire right there is gonna fall so yeah so you can see right here the foam pole is busted right there where their lights at and all it takes is that to come down it's going to bring all those cables on that side of the row with it I do not know how the hell he ended up there. So, but there's the car right there, upside down. The driver's in the AMR unit. So this CHP guy is gonna come, probably tell me to move, but I'm not going to, because I'm on the other side of the street. So we're good, right? I smell smoke. All the uh, palm trees on fire, so we're gonna stay on this side. I don't need these wires to start popping. So the palm trees, how did the palm tree get on fire up there? Did something, the car hit? So one of the wires must be hanging down. It must have sparked or something. Right here you can see the smoke. So one of the power lines must be hanging down. The thing's about to go up. We're about to see this palm tree go up. <coughs> yeah, I thought the C, I thought for sure the CHP guy was gonna tell me to move. But we're safe where we're at. And if you don't like it, you can call the uh, railroad police to have me moved. Um, we're doing a journalistic story right now. So, and I didn't, think to ask him what happened but I think it's pretty evident it said car into a palm tree uh, you've got some of the fire officials and CHP guy over there again I don't want to get too close to that for one the palm trees on fire and for two this pole right here is a that's a telephone pole whoa where's this guy going where is this idiot going I'm not walking over there I'm not going over there. I'm standing right here. Yeah, I'll stand right here. Okay, I'm on this side of the street. Don't, don't worry about my safety. You do your job and I'll do mine, okay? So I understand what you're letting me know. That's why I'm standing over here, okay? You don't need to let me know, officer. You need to go do the... You got a guy over here driving through and you're worried about the guy with the camera. So yeah, I, you don't worry about, I'm 52 years old. I think I've survived long enough. You don't worry about my safety. You do your job, okay, officer? Yeah, just go do your job. You always want to give directives to everybody with a camera. Oh, I'm a, I'm a cop. I need to tell this guy what to do. I'm standing behind this thing. I'm not standing under it. What do you need, my glasses? Goddamn cops. Always got to give directives to people with a camera. They can't just walk by. He's like, don't walk over there. I'm not over there. I'm over here. You got a guy driving through your accident scene and you're worried about the guy with the camera. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. I'm 52 years old. I was in the army. I think I can pretty much handle myself. The wire comes down, it's going that way, and I'm gonna walk over here. Jesus Christ. So I don't know if this is a family member or what. Yeah, that's probably a family member right there. Okay, he pulled her aside. That might be a family member or a friend. I don't know why she drove through like that, though. 
So you got this CHP guy here coming up. Yeah, he's trying to tell me there's a wire down. Why do you think I crossed the street, man? Why do you think I'm standing over here? Jesus Christ, he's walking back and forth and he's worried about my safety. He's walked through here three times since I've been here in three minutes. So they're gonna make her turn around, right? Cause she can't drive through there. There's not much else to see. Um, <coughs> yeah, she's gonna have to turn around. So that person's in the ambulance. If it's a DUI, then they're gonna be going to jail. But there's the car upside down. I'm not going to stay until the tow driver flips it. I'm just going to take off. Um, I mean, I've got everything. You've got a power line, a power pole here. It's snapped in half. You've got the car. I don't think that uh, palm tree is going to go up any more than it is. Those are flames right there. So he was telling me to stand way back here. He's out of his fucking mind. Don't get too close. We're doing an investigation. We don't want you to see what we're doing. It's out of his fucking mind. All right, guys, I'm out of here. We've, I got the footage for you. He's telling me to stand way back over here. Is he out of his mind? So we got the footage. We've got other cars coming up here. They're not gonna let them through. Uh, we're gonna cross right by these flares so everybody can see us. Yeah, you're gonna have to turn, bud. They're not gonna let you through here. The CHP's got it all closed off. Yeah, he was telling me to go stand way back over. He's come over here and stand. Man, fuck off. What am I, a dog? So there you go, guys. News now, you keep